Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Danielle, AKA Stitcherista here on YouTube. And today is Thursday, December 15th. So last night, um, we went to Chipotle for dinner. We actually went and got takeout and brought it back. And remember I told you guys that I didn't think the tree and what I mean by the tree, you know, the tree that is my favorite Christmas decoration of all time. I didn't think the tree was going to be lit. It's lit. It's lit and it's lit, you know, like the slang. <laughs> yeah, it was lit and Bill was like, oh my God, I didn't know it was supposed to be. And so we're gonna ride around, I think sometime next week before Christmas to see lights and everything. So I did get some stitching done last night and I got done, I filled in the N and then did the witch's hat on the O. And I've been watching this true crime documentary. It's only two episodes. It's on um, Amazon Prime and it's called The Confession. It's quite interesting. So I wanted to read you my gratitude list for today. I think that's going to be an everyday thing. I'm, I'm going to read you guys my list. Today, number one is Terry. Um, Terry has helped me immensely these last two days and I so appreciate her friendship and her counsel and everything. So, yes. Um, number two was a Michael's voucher. I had a voucher for $10, and I'm going to show you because I went there um, early this morning and got something with the voucher. Number three is Bill. And these are in no particular order, of course. Number four is that first sip of coffee during the day. You know what I mean if you're a coffee drinker or a tea drinker. And then number five is Amazon. And Amazon, because, you know, I'm able to order things for this room, for my office, and get things pretty quickly. Very thankful for them, especially during this time when they are very inundated with packages and Christmas gifts and stuff like that. So, and I know there's that thing. I don't have Alexa, though. I know there's that thing you can thank your driver and it does something. It gives them $5 or something like that. I don't have that, unfortunately. So, Michaels, I'm going to flip you around. I decided yesterday, after I looked more at the washi tape thing I had painted, I didn't really like it. I'll use that for something else. But um, I decided I wanted to get something to organize the tape that I really liked. And I did some searching last night, and I found this one on Mike, uh, Michael's website, and it said it was in stock at my Michael's. And... It was like 40% off, I think. And then I had a $10 voucher. So let me flip you around. Here it is. Isn't it cool? So the drawers pull out and you can fit quite a bit of washi tape in there. And so it's three drawers. I love the knobs on it. And it came just like this. Like I didn't have to put anything together. And it's called, I think the brand is called Simply Tidy really like this very very much oh I also while I have you like flipped around I did do some diamond painting um, as you can see I've started to put this to use but first another purchase that I made I got I found on eBay this candle pedestal for Bath and Body Works candles and you can't tell by the picture but it's actually felt like this feels velvety so really, really like that. Want to start, and I should be burning a candle in here. Bill is actually working overtime tonight till 10 p.m. So I'm going to use that time to get some diamond painting done. But I did do some more. Let me see if I can turn. Whoopsie. My tripod fell. See if I can turn the light on. That way you can see the colors a little bit better. So I did this whole section and then I filled in some more black. And you can see I've been watching how I started rewatching House of Cards on Netflix. Love that show with Kevin Spacey and Robin Wright Penn. There's like seven seasons, so I have lots of watching to do. 
and step four, I have a couple patterns that came in the mail today. But I was sitting there and I've been giving this some thought since starting diamond painting again. I have seen some people use, you know, have a drafting table or have a desk, but they have it completely flat and then they get an easel to hold their light pad. And I've been hemming and hawing and thinking about doing that only because I can't set a drink on there because the table is angled. And I'd be able to put, you know, I'd be able to put this on the table and have the credenza there. I'd be able to put the basket. I mean, I'd be able to put some stuff on there. So I think I'm going to do that. So stay tuned for that. But I'm enjoying the diamond painting immensely. And I had messaged the company that I ordered the credenza from. I had actually messaged them was it Saturday or Sunday? It was a couple days ago. And I had asked them for an update of where I was in the queue because they told me they would give me an update in a week and they didn't. So I gave them a couple days and I messaged them again last night. And Bill said, you're gonna make them mad. And I said, I'm not, I'm not rude in the messages. I just say, hi, I'm just curious where I am in the queue. Are you able to give me an update? And they wrote me back and said, my credenza is in production. Let's go. Yeah, so I'm hoping that means I will have it sooner rather than later. They had originally told me January, but they also did say that it may be quicker because mine's only a 45 slot one instead of 60, which is what most people get. So, fingers crossed. So I did get some patterns in the mail today that I ordered from Primrose Cottage Stitches. Um, Snowman Kisses, which is so very cute. What I wanna start doing, I have so many like finishing forms I got from the dollar store and all of that. I wanna start pulling them out and finding patterns to fit them. I know that this will go on one of them. This is merry and bright. I could probably literally almost get this stitched in one day. Really love that. And then their new Christmas one too, Christmas Alphabet. I really love that. And I love their paper patterns. I love the fact that on the back, it shows the different stitch counts for the different fabrics. So that's just almost every single fabric you could stitch it on. Yeah, really, really like that they do that. And their patterns are done on very nice, thick, card glossy card stock it's very very nice and the last thing that I'm going to show you which I forgot to show you yesterday I meant to show it yesterday so there is a group and I had linked it in a couple videos ago there is a group called DAC fans DAC which stands for Diamond Art Club and on that Facebook group it's where you can go if you're looking for a kit that has been limited edition, discontinued. Well, I was looking for Hannah Lynn's Poinsettia Pixie. And the very kind and wonderful Jamie had it. And so I got it in the mail yesterday. So this is what the picture looks like. Isn't she gorgeous? I haven't even opened it because I was waiting for you guys. So of course it is Round diamonds, although I ordered two square diamond ones, I'm willing to give the squares another chance and open, broaden my horizons. But let's take a peek at this. Yeah, she had said it was still factory sealed. It still had the original plastic on it. <coughs> so she had never even opened this. Um, this has the old toolkit. <coughs> Swallowed my spit. You ever done that? In the wrong hole. This has the old toolkit with it. Which I don't mind that. I was just thankful someone had this because I, it was confirmed from Diamond Art Club that they are not getting this back in. I am so very excited though to see like what, uh, what other Hannah Lynn ones that they wind up getting. This one is just so gorgeous. And she has so many wonderfully gorgeous artworks. Here's a better picture. 
which I like to put the picture on a piece of cardstock, like I have um, April Fairy, so I can always see. Um, and I actually wrote on the back of this one when I started it, because I would like to know how long it takes me. But isn't it so pretty, love? Okay. I am not going to pull out all of these diamonds. I'm just really curious to see what the canvas looks like, but we know what diamonds look like, right? Let's see if there's any ABs in this. Yeah, it looks like there's three, maybe. Yeah, that's cool. So a blue, a white, and then like a purple. Mm, that's gonna be nice. All right, so I'm not, I usually don't like to peek. I'm gonna fold it the other way so I can kind of straighten it out. Yeah, I've enjoyed being in this room. I love it so much. I've been getting up early enough that I've been able to get in this room. Okay, so let's take a peek. Ooh, look how big she is. Look how big her face is. Don't you love it? I love the hair, her eyes, her face, and then the poinsettia, gorgeous. Absolutely Yes, ma'am. Love that so very much. I cannot wait to do it. I love it. I love her artwork so much. I, I was a patron of hers for a while, and I'm so glad that Diamond Art Club, that's another thing to be thankful for, I'm so glad that Diamond Art Club licenses her work. So, I will fold that up in a second and put that away. But yeah, so since Bill is working overtime, um, I got sushi for dinner. I usually try to do that when he like plays poker or does something like that. And I plan to do some more diamond painting, maybe get some more stitching done. Um, we're on the calendar tomorrow and tomorrow's job, actually we have it again on Monday. So that makes it a little bit easier for me excuse me, as far as like preparation and stuff like that. And so far next week, we're only on the schedule Monday and Tuesday. I have a feeling most firms are probably going to be closed Friday and Monday. So the day before Christmas Eve, which is the 23rd, and then Monday, the day after Christmas. So that'll be all right. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, Christmas is here, guys. It is... A week from Sunday which is just so stunning I can't wait uh, my little trash can is coming today that I ordered for in here so I will show you that tomorrow I'm so looking forward to ordering the other chair the other task chair I can't wait I can't wait to just have two task chairs in here and believe it or not like I was concerned about having like a seat cushion and a back cushion and I was just going to take my cushions from my office chair, but I've been okay sitting in this. And the other task chair that I want is padded also. So I don't think I'll have any problem. The only reason I really got those seat cushions in there is some days, I mean, I'll work a 10 hour day, easy, right? And yeah, so I needed like good cushions and the Cushion Lab cushions are the best cushions I've ever used in on any kind of chair. It saved my back at the retreat. My back, my sciatica didn't act up. My back didn't hurt. A++. I mean, those cushions, more money than I've spent on a cushion, like just the seat cushion, I want to say was $75. Completely worth it. And for me, I mean, a work tax deduction, right? Um, equipment, absolutely. But okay. I'm going to end this here. I hope you guys are all having a good week and a good Thursday. As always, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below and I will answer them to the best of my ability. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.